Good evening, godless sodomite. Kneel before your god, Babylon! Making me the highest paid megalomaniacal boy king in all of Babylon! You see, if you go and visit the very home of the Oscars, where they hold it each year, you can see a plaque on the wall that says, The Babylonian Court. The camera shows you the stage, and you see an unmistakable Tower of Babel embedded into the design. Outside of the Kodak Theater, you have the gate to Ishtar, and you have Babylonian gods put on the outside of the gate. They have the exact elephants. They have the same exact gate of Ishtar. They have the same exact Babylonian gods over the top of the gates. Like a lot of people come up here and they thank Jesus for this award. I want you to know that no one had less to do with this award than Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, this award is my God now! <laughs> I'm thankful to the Oscar gods. The other names of the gentlemen are all gods as far as a, as far as a category concerned. When you get this little golden statue, you become a star. In the Egyptian culture, they also had a little statue that represented the god Ptah. And see, when a Egyptian king died, it was believed that his spirit went into the belt of Orion and he then became a star. Up until 1999, the Oscars was held at a building called The Shrine, which was founded by William Florence and Walter Fleming, two high-ranking Scottish Rite Freemasons. Hollywood has long been interested in Freemasonry. Gene Autry, John Wayne, Nat King Cole, Duke Ellington, C.C. DeMille, Clark Gable, Walt Disney, Oliver Hardy, you name it, the list goes on. Many celebrities have come out and admitted their connection to Freemasonry. You can see the checkered floor, you can see the archways, you can see the sun motif in the background. All of these are letting you know exactly who owns this organization. While the world is wandering after all of these celebrities, we would do well to heed the very advice from Jesus' lips himself. In Luke 4 verse 8 it says, For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God and Him only shalt thou serve.